What's up, guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care, so we have another. Oh boy. Another letter from Princess Peach. There's like 15 now, 25. There's a lot of Princess Peaches in the world. Anyway, you can see on the map, actually, we have a new thing to deal with. We have some purple comets in our mists. And I really. Mid, midst? Mids? In our midst. And I really want to do them. Um, I believe there's 17 in total across the whole thing, so that's gonna be like one every video with like nine exceptions of not. Um, I might spread them out to the very end of the series, might just do it as fast as I can, we'll see. I'm not gonna be doing two in any video, but we'll do at least one today. We're going to the purple coin omelette in Good, Ed Good Egg Galaxy. I like that name a lot. Now, the way that Purple Coins mission work is there are two types. I guess technically three, but uh, two types. This is the first type. It is nice and easy. Basically, you have the way Purple Coin missions work, I should probably explain first, is you need to collect 100 Purple Coins and then you get the star. In this case, there's just a path of coins we just need to follow until we get all 100 and then we're all good to go. Uh, there is a slight, like, tr trickiness with this one because this isn't just a set and circuit. This level is not a circuit. So you do have to go through the effort of, like, finding all the different paths you can take. But uh, the other type of mission is where there's just 100 coins around and you've got to find them all. There's also the type where you have um, time limits as well. So you have, like, a time limit to go through the whole path or a time limit to get all of the ones hidden around. But, um... We're not going to come to those yet. Might not for a while. I don't know. Purple coin missions I will not be doing in chronological order. I will do them as they appear via the RNG of the comments. In case you didn't know, RNG just means random. The randomness of the comments, comments means that's what I'm going to do. Now, we have been here before. Now we're looping over. And we have 30 coins to still get. So, the way that a coin's work in this place, if you ever find them missing, go to the path you haven't gone to. There's a lot of planets like this one that has a launch star on the way to it. Every planet has co uh, coins. Every, pretty much every launch star path has coins too. So even though there's two paths to go this way, both of them have coins, so you probably have to do it in two loops. You can even see there's coins there flying around. So let's fly off this one. Whee! 20 left, and then there is a launch star we're coming up to now. This will take us to these coins, lovely. And then there's only 10 more left. I think it will be, a, hopefully, if I'm right, there's one coin, sure, one golden coin. There should be a launch star along the path of this launch star path here. Is that, did that sentence make sense? I think that sentence made sense. Let's find out. Get all these, and we. Yep, yeah, there it is. I see it in sight. Let's get these last ten pub coins. I wonder where this star will spawn. Hopefully, on the planet we land on. We'll see. Let the music cut out randomly. See, I know how this game works sometimes. And yeah, perfect. A hundred out of a hundred. And we're all done. I'm also going to grab some extra star bits because only three there. I wanted them. We have 100 purple coins, one golden coin, and 30 star bits. I wanted a nice round number. I heard sound why I only got three. It was slightly tricky, oddly enough. But there we go. At star 70. 70 was our first purple comet. I like it. Right, let's make some actual progress. We're gonna run ahead over to the engine now, because I like making progress. There's nothing else to do in the terrace, unless there was maybe like another comet that appeared, but I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Right, what do we have here? Da -da 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 -da. Na -na -na -na. Okay, I think this is the final form of the Comet Observatory. There might be one other form after this, since there is that still one last pipe. But I gotta say, this music sounds really nice and romantic to me, and I feel like this is a slightly sobby comment. I'm only gonna say it once. I feel like if I ever got married, or just like had a wife, or just a really sobby girlfriend, I would um, 
I could totally see myself doing like a um, a waltz to that music. I feel like I've said that before, but I don't know. It's just a really nice thing. Like it seems like a nice waltzy kind of music. Oh well. Anyway, enough romanticism. We're going off to Sea Slide Galaxy because we can't go to either of the comets at Gold Leaf right now. It's time for going after Guppy. So it's a tropical-esque land with a shark right in the middle. Lovely fun. Also kind of like the amalgamation of Loop-de-Loop -loop Galaxy and Beach Bowl Galaxy. Ooh, hello. No one's up beyond this point! Okie dokie, Yellow Toad. Thanks for letting me uh, know. <laughs> that big body's ruining all our fun! Oh, you have to talk talk. This is one awesome loop of ocean, but that big boat is causing trouble and keeping us out of it. Oh. Sounds sad. That guy is faster than a torpedo, it's crazy! Are you gonna try swimming with a shell? <laughs> oh, I just might do. You know you can dive with Zed, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Penguin, I've heard it all before. We came here to find a power stop, but there's something freaky in that water. No way I'm going in! Oh. I mean, maybe he's friendly. I don't know. I mean, it looks pretty big and slightly scary with those eyes. Oh, my gosh. So that's the brute that's been causing trouble! Yeah, well, I'll teach him! How are you now, Captain Toad? I'll be interested to see you try. Right, let's go confront the big old bully brute himself, shall we? We don't have a shell to, like, whack him in the face first, so I guess just poke him with our bodies. That can work too, I guess. Now, what do we have here? You some friends of the penguins? Let's get something clear here, Lion Walker. This thing's mine, see? Now I'm back, show some girls and make it through eight rings. Well, that sounds pretty easy to me. What we need to do is swim across, th across this whole loop. It's basically just a mission to show us the whole loop and go through all the eight rings he creates. It reminds me of um, that Mario Party 4 mission where you have to swim and get points by going through the loop. Somehow, I missed that shell and didn't cling to me, so that's just bad luck, but oh well. Anyway, while we're on the topic of tropical areas, I'd like to talk very briefly about Pokemon Sun. I did mention it very briefly, that it's in my note. Um, I'm not having the best of luck with Pokemon Sun. I bought the game when it came out in the UK. Um, I don't remember when exactly that was, probably like January 21st. January? November even. Uh, maybe even the 3rd, I can't remember the dates. I have played that game for a whopping two hours since it came out. I've, I've even had like the game on me most of the time it's been out, I just keep it in my bag. But I've been so busy with uni work or I've just been occupied or I've been unlucky with charge that I didn't, I haven't been able to play it at all really. I'm like so early on and it's silly, it's really silly. And did I get that with the shell? Was that me? Oh well. Like, I don't know. And like, I got to play a little bit of it, of it um, on the train journey back from my hometown um, earlier in the week. So that was nice. Um, didn't get to play too much though, because my battery was naturally dying. But yeah, Pokemon Sun, it's it's a game I'm really enjoying. It's really nice because it's so like, such a like, updated 3D world and it works really well. And it's just really fun and enjoyable. And it's almost nostalgic to me. I really like it. And yet, I've barely been able to play it. Oh! Guppy, you're strong. You're brave for a lab walker. Well, I'm a fish in my word. The sea's all yours, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> and naturally, the starlets bounce right off. And of course, yeah, he's so powerful and big and scary that he knocks you over by touching him. Yay, Mario, I was going to teach him a lesson, but you beat me to it. I'm sure. I'm sure you were totally going to do it. Nice work, old stash guy. Surf's up again. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, way to go! What do you no, what do you say? Now we can play! And is that a power star or zero by Guppy? Yes, yes, I know what I'm doing now. What do you say? Anything new? Now we're on that button! Oh, nope, that's exactly the same. Alright then. Let's go grab number 71.
And I'm afraid, even though we're only at 10 minutes of recording, that is us done. I am not actually making these videos longer, it all depends on the missions, and that purple coin mission was not very long at all. The later ones will be. The ones where you just gotta find 100 in an area, they take a long while, so videos will be increasing, I expect, at this point. But for now, my name's been Daz, you don't really care. This game I was not having the most fun time, and I'll see you in a bit. Chapter 5. Home. The kitchen will go here, and the library will go over there, the girl said busily to herself. We'll put the gate here. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she'd been bustling about at a feverish pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it to make a happy home. It turned out that star bits weren't the only things buried in the ice. There were tools and furniture unlike any they had ever seen, and the girl used them to build a home. Looking at the completed house, Luma remarked, Don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? With a library, bedroom, kitchen, fountain and gate, it was certainly spacious, but still, something seemed to be missing. If only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said wistfully. Indeed, the house was too large for its two small residents. That night, clutching her favourite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. <laughs>